All right. I'm Grandpa George Olson, and uh, reading a little bit of Uncle Remus' stories tonight. So here we have another one. Uncle Remus initiates the little boy. One evening, recently, the old lady whom Uncle Remus calls Miss Sally missed her little seven-year-old. Making search for him through the house and through the yard, she heard the sound of voices in the old man's cabin. And looking through the window, saw the child sitting by Uncle Remus. His head rested against the old man's arm, and he was gazing with an expression of the most intense interest into the rough, weather-beaten face that beamed so kindly upon him. This is what Miss Sally heard. By and by, one day, at a Br'er Fox been doing all that he could for to catch Br'er Rabbit, and Br'er Rabbit being done all he could for to keep him from, from that, old Br'er Fox say to himself that he put up a game, and Br'er Rabbit, and he ain't, and he ain't, mon got the woods out of his mouth. Twelve Br'er Rabbit came a lopping up down the road. Looking just as plump and as fat and as sassy as a mogan hoss in a barley patch. Hold on now, Brer Rabbit, says Brer Fox, says he. I ain't got time, Brer Fox, says Brer Rabbit, says he. Sort of men, sort of men in his licks. <clears throat> I want to have some confab with you, Brer Rabbit, says Brer Fox, says he. All right, Brer Fox, but you better holler from where you're standing. I'm monstrous full of fleas this morning, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. <laughs> I seed Br'er Bear yesterday, says Br'er Fox, says he. And he sort of wrecked me over the coals, because uh, you and me ain't making friends and, and live neighborly. And I, I told him that I'd see you. Then Br'er Rabbit scratched one year with a with a uh, off hind foot sort of uh, jubilously and then he ups and says, says he, all of a sudden, Brer Fox, suppose you drop round to, to my and take dinner with me. We ain't got no great doings at our house, but I expect the old woman and the chillin can sort of, sort of scramble around and get up something for to stay your stomach. I'm grievable, Brer Robert, says Brer Fox, says he. Then I'll pin on you, says Br'er Rabbit, says he. <clears throat> Next day, old Br'er Rabbit and Miss Rabbit got up some, uh, got up some full day and raided on a garden like Miss Sally's out there and got some cabbages and, and, and some rosiniers and, and some sperry grass and they fix up a smashing dinner. By and by, one of the little rabbits Playing out in the backyard, come a running in the hall, and oh ma, oh ma, I see Mr. Fox a coming. And then Brer Rabbit, he tuck the chillins by the ears and make them sit down. And then him and Miss Rabbit sort of dally around waiting for Brer Fox. And they keep on waiting for Brer Fox. And they keep on waiting. But no Brer Fox. Brer Fox ain't come. And a while, old Brer Rabbit goes to the dough, easy like, and peep out. And then, sticking from behind the corner, was the tip in old Br'er Fox tail. Then Br'er Rabbit shot down the door, and shot down, and put his paws behind his ears, and began for to sing. Ooh, the place where about to spill the grease, right there you're bound to slide. And when you find a bunch of hair, you shortly find the hide. Next day, old Br'er Fox sent word by Mr. Mink and excused himself, because he was too sick for to come, and, and he asked Br'er Rabbit for to come and take dinner with him. And Br'er Rabbit says he was real <clears throat> by and by. When the shadows was uh, was at the shortest, Br'er Rabbit, uh, he sort of brush up and saunter down to old Br'er Fox's house. And when he got there, he hear somebody groaning. And he look in the door, and there he sees old Br'er Fox 
sitting up in a rocking chair, all wrapped up with flannel, and 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 he looked mighty weak. Brer Rabbit looked at all around. He did, but he ain't seen no dinner. The dishpan was sitting on the table, and close by was a carving knife. <clears throat> Look like you're going to have chicken for dinner, Brer Fox says. Old Brer Rabbit says he. <laughs> yes, Brer Rabbit. They're nice and fresh and tender, says old Brer Fox, says he. Then old Brer Rabbit sort of pull his mustaches and say, You ain't got no calamus root, is you, Brer Fox? I done got some now that I can eat no chicken except she's a seasoned up with calamus root. And with that, old Brer Rabbit, he lipped out and, and uh, the dough and, and dodged among the bushes and sat there watching for old Brer Fox. And he ain't watch long, another, cause old Brer Fox flung off the flannel and crop out of the house and got where he could close in on Brer Rabbit. And by and by, old Brer Rabbit hollered out, Ho, oh, Brer Fox, I'll just put your calamus root out here on the dish of your stump. Better come get it while it's fresh. And with that, old Brer Rabbit, he gallop off home. And Brer Fox ain't never caught him yet. And what's more, honey, he ain't gonna. <laughs>